I'm Noah from American Muscle, and today we're looking at the CCFL Halo Projector Headlights with black housings and clear lenses for the 08 to 14 Challenger with the factory halogen headlights. These headlights are a perfect upgrade for the Challenger owner who's looking to replace their stock headlights with something that looks super new and shines bright at night with a projector housing and some colder temperature halos. These headlights don't stray too terribly far from the stock design, but you can tell that these have a little bit of an updated look and that they aren't original. Probably my favorite part about them and what really makes them stand out is the colder temperature LED halo and that reflector bowl under that inner amber bulb. Now, it's an interesting look that I think really adds a certain something to the front end of a Challenger. We're looking at a clear lens with an enclosed black housing, and that's going to accept the factory headlight bulbs. Everything you need to replace your headlight is included with the kit. These will bolt in exactly the same way you took the old ones out. Now this is a projector style headlight and you are able to swap those factory halogen bulbs out for some super bright LED bulbs as well if you'd like. When you're replacing headlights, I always recommend throwing in some fresh bulbs at the same time, whether you go with upgraded ones from our site that are LED or just a new set of factory halogen ones. So these guys are designed to handle some abuse from the daily drive, from things like road debris or rocks or anything that has the potential to sandblast and chip your headlight. And the lens is constructed from an impact resistant clear polycarbonate, which is shatterproof and will be UV resistant. Now the housings are made from a raw black ABS plastic. ABS is strong, lightweight and heat resistant, which makes it a great material to construct a headlight housing out of since they're right in front of a big motor. And then lastly, the headlight is fully sealed so that moisture can't make its way inside and cloud up the inside of that lens. Coming in around $460, these headlights are one of the more affordable options out there when it comes to upgraded headlights for the Challenger. Though headlights are a small part of the big picture of a car, I always think that a fresh and clean set of headlights with an updated design can drastically change the look and curb appeal or presence of a car overall. Installing these headlights should take you about an hour and just about anybody should be able to accomplish getting these guys put in their place. We're looking at an install difficulty of one out of three wrenches. Everything with these headlights is manufactured to drop right in place of the original headlights, which is gonna make installation a breeze. So without further ado, let's head to the install bay and get these headlights on our Challenger. The tools you're gonna to need for this install include an impact, electric or regular 3 8 ratchet, a 3 8 extension, wire strippers and crimpers, a Phillips head screwdriver, a clip removal tool, a 3 8 swivel socket, a deep 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter swivel socket, an eight and seven millimeter swivel sockets, a 3 8 the quarter inch adapter, a T30 torque socket, included T-taps, non-included male ends, and a panel removal tool. What's up guys? Today we're gonna be installing a set of headlights on our Challenger, but before we get started, you're gonna watch a short video on how to uninstall your stock headlights, and I'll meet you back here for the install. All right, now for the gun install, we do have to remove our bumper to access the headlight bolts. So what we're gonna have to do is a couple of preliminary things. We popped our hood, we're gonna remove the two pieces for the radiator shroud to expose a couple of pushpin clips, and I'll use this panel removal tool to get those off. So under the hood, you'll find this little open hole on the side on each side. You're gonna pull up on that and set these guys aside. All right, now the first points that are connecting the bumper are these little black pushpin clips. There's six of them on the black pieces. There are a couple in between that are on uh, you know, your factory paint color, in our case, Hemi Orange. You don't have to do those that are sitting on the paint color, just on the black plastic trim. Use a panel removal tool or something similar to get these guys off. You're basically just lifting up on the center piece and then it loosens up and you can pull it out. Set these aside. All right, now in the corners above each headlight where the bumper meets the fender, there's a small 10 millimeter nut on a stud holding on the corners there. We have to get that off. For this, I would highly recommend a 10 millimeter swivel socket. I'm gonna use my impact gun, an extension, and my swivel socket here. It might be a little tough to see, but once you get that locked on there, you can get it off. All right, just be careful not to drop it in. It can be pretty difficult. All 
right, just like that. Repeat that on the other side. For this one, we put the Challenger up in the air a little bit, but you can work on the ground as well. We're gonna be removing the four plastic pushpin clips in the wheel well. This is holding on this liner, which will give us access to a bolt underneath. Grab a panel removal tool, and you're gonna remove all four. Ours is a missing one, but that's all right. We've got three more to work with. You should have four there. Next, what you're gonna do is take the wheel well liner and you're gonna peel it back. Underneath of that, you'll see that there is a 10 millimeter bolt holding the fender to the bumper. All right, for this next bolt, we have this 10 millimeter right here. I'm gonna use my 10 socket to get this off. Next, we have a bolt that's pretty difficult to get to. It's where the fender meets the bumper upward a little bit more parallel to the headlight. So it's right about here facing toward the back of the vehicle. It's a nut on a stud. Now, you're never really gonna be able to see that on camera, it's so close up in here, but we're gonna use an extension and a swivel socket to get in there, we're gonna drop it on and remove the 10 millimeter nut. Like I said, tough to see, but if you follow this line up, it's right about here. All right, so now I'm gonna use two extensions for this guy and just feed a socket on a swivel joint to get up in there at the right angle. All right, I'm locked on right now, just gonna get it off. All right, at this point, you can reach your hand in there and get the nut off the stud. All right, and there it is. Now you can repeat this exact same process in the wheel well on the other side. At this point, we got the vehicle up in the air completely to access the front splitter here and the belly pan. We have to remove all the bolts connecting these two together in order to drop our bumper. Now, there's typically a bunch of seven millimeter screws holding on the front here, all along the front and the sides underneath of your fog lights. Now, ours have been replaced over the years. These are Phillips heads on ours. Yours will probably be seven millimeters. So just grab the appropriate tool and we're gonna get these guys off. All right, now we can move on to the sides. All right, so I have two seven millimeters on the side here. Same thing on the other side. All right, so now if you go backward a little bit to the belly pan, we have a 10 millimeter bolt on our subframe. All right, now if you go directly next to it on the other side, there's another one to take off. If you look at this little indent in the middle here, there should be three holes with three black pushpin clips. Now again, our Challenger has gone through some replacements over the years. These three guys are missing currently, but you should have three of those. Grab your panel removal tool, the same as we did under the hood, and get those three off and out of the way. All right, so next up, we have a couple of pushpin clips left. We have two here on the inside of the wheel well. We're gonna remove them on both sides. All right, I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, next step, this is loose, so let's pull our belly pan off. All right, a couple of things to note here before you grab our bumper off. Make sure when you're pulling this off, you're being careful not to scratch the paint with the studs on the side. Also, you don't wanna to go too far with it because we still have to disconnect our fog light harness. So as soon as you get it off, you wanna set it gently down close to the vehicle so you're not pulling on the harness. So from here, let's disconnect the sides, just like that. Same thing over here. Let's get it off. Going right down with it right here. 
and now we can reach in and unplug our harnesses. All right, now on our passenger side, both fog lights feed into one master harness, which we're just gonna reach down here and disconnect. You can follow the fog lights down, find this connector and just disconnect. Now we can set our bumper safely aside, making sure we're not scratching the paint. All right, next up, we're gonna remove our headlights. Finally, we have three bolts, one at the top, two underneath there that were covered by the bumper originally. We're gonna grab a T30 Torx bit and an extension and get these three bolts off. All right, with this last guy out of the way, just carefully pull your headlight out of place and disconnect the harnesses. All right, so I'm gonna lift up on the red locking tab, pinch and disconnect on both sides. Right, set your stock headlight aside. All right, guys, so the first thing we gotta do here is we have to transfer over our turn signal bulb over to our new headlight. So we're gonna turn counterclockwise, pull out, swap that over. Do that vice versa, we'll go clockwise. Now we can get this installed onto the vehicle. So the next step, we're gonna have to wire up our halos, which we'll be using with our red and black wires. So we're gonna take our wire strippers and we're gonna strip down a little bit of the insulation. And we're gonna twist these up so they don't fray. Then we can grab a set of male connectors. We're gonna slide that through the wire. So you can see just a little bit right there. Make sure we hold that in place. We'll grab a set of crimpers and we're gonna crimp down right here on this metal part. Give it a little tug. Good. We'll do that same process for the red wire. Now with the set, it comes with included T-taps. So you're gonna T-tap into the black wire on the black connector and the white and brown wire. So now we're gonna take our black wire from the headlight and go in with from our T-tap onto the black wire. Just gonna slide that in there. For our power, we're gonna be tapping into the white and brown. So then we can get our headlight into place. This black wire will be on the turn signal bulb. I'm gonna press in and press in your red tab. Then our green connector will be for our headlight. So we're gonna push it in until you hear a click and press in your red tab. Now we can kind of tuck these wires out of the way while we get this lined up in the mount. Now we're gonna thread in our bolts. One on top, two down here on the bottom. Make sure that wiring's tucked out of the way so you don't pinch them. Now you're gonna grab an eight millimeter swivel socket and we're gonna tighten these three down. Now you can repeat that process on the other side. All right, so now we have the bumper close to the vehicle. We're gonna make our connections from, with our fog lights. We're gonna slide them in so you hear a click. And you can tuck your harness into the bumper. Now we can get this onto the vehicle. All right, so now to get the bumper on, we're gonna line this stud up here with the hole in the quarter panel and this plastic tab gonna go into this hole here. We're gonna do both sides simultaneously. Get it lined up. Make sure this side's good. Now we're gonna come over to the side. 
try to line your bumper up. Don't worry about the gap here because there is a stud with a nut that we're going to have to tighten down. Come on the other side. All right, so now we have to get our nut onto that stud that's located about like right here. It's gonna be very hard for you guys to see, but we're gonna take our nut and we're gonna thread that onto the stud. So we gotta go up in the quarter panel here and get our nut onto the stud. Now we're gonna take a 10 millimeter socket a swivel socket and an extension. And we're gonna line that onto the stud. There we go. Now we can grab an impact and tighten this down. See now that your gap is closed in, we can press in our fender liner with a trim panel tool. So push that in. Try this out. Then we can thread in our bolt. So we'll peel back on that fender liner, thread it in. We could use that same setup we have with a 10 millimeter socket and tighten this down. Now we can push our fender liner back in. We can take our push clip, push that into here. Now we can head on up to the engine bay. So now we can take our nut and thread that onto the stud that will tighten down our bumper to the quarter panel. Just thread that in a little bit. And we're gonna tighten that down with a 10 millimeter swivel socket. Now you can repeat that process on the other side. So now we're gonna insert our push clips into the six holes here. That'll keep the top of the bumper in place. We'll come back to that one. So now we're gonna install our plastic covers. This covers everything up. I'm gonna line those two studs here into the side of the quarter panel. This one is gonna go under the hood latch. Just give that a firm press. Same for this side. Line your studs up. Click in. now your install is complete. So that's gonna wrap up the install on our CCFL Halo projector headlights with black housing and clear lenses for your 08 to 14 Challenger with factory halogen headlights. Thanks for watching and for all things Challenger, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.